Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how I made this awesome little coffee grinder box. I got the kit with the grinder from my local woodcraft. We used some miter joints and some really awesome splines. This thing just looks unbelievable. Make sure you stay until the end and see what it looks like out in the sunlight. First we're going to start out by planting our boards down. I'm using walnut and then I have a piece of cherry that is already planed down scrap wood from something else that we're going to use for the other pieces. Then we're going to run our board through the table saw to make sure that both sides are square. You can also use a jointer, but I don't have one yet, so. Then we're going to trim down our board to the length that we want the height of this box to be, plus our top and bottom. And then I actually use the thinner piece of walnut as the drawer inside so that everything would match. Next we're going to head over to the table saw and we're going to cut our sides to the exact length that we want. Then we head over to the miter saw and using a stop block get my precise angles just because this miter saw is a lot more precise than my table saw is for angles. And then we're going to cut the top and the bottom pieces. Next, we are going to cut out the hole for the drawer to fit into to our face frame. So we want to line all of our pieces up and make sure that we've got them going in the right order and label them and then pick out the one that we want to use as our front. And then I'm just using a flat tip saw blade so that I can make a bunch of little tiny cuts and get that space evened out and then I take a file and a sander and sand it down so that everything's even and looks nice. Next I wanted to make a little recess along all four sides of the top of the box so that the sides would kind of snap in when I'm gluing it up and hold everything together. Um, I went like a few millimeters tall with the saw blade here really not trying to go very deep at all. Next we're gonna glue everything up. I'm using Type On 2 because I've heard some negative things about Walnut and Type On 3 um, so whenever possible I try and use Type On 2 and you can see that groove that we cut out on the top there. We're just gonna use tape to hold everything together and in place while the glue dries and we'll get the frame all glued up and then we'll get our top on there. Once we have the top on, we're going to flip it over and get the bottom glued on. You can see I added a few little walnut panels just to line up with the hole that we cut out for the drawer since we're not going to have any drawer slides in this. 
this will make sure that that box doesn't wiggle around and it has something to kind of run on. Next, we're gonna drill out our hole for the grinder. You can do this before you glue it on. I didn't think about it and just did it now. Then we're gonna go over and use my spline jig to cut our splines and all of the miter joints. This is not my favorite jig. I, I've never had an issue getting hurt with it, but it just doesn't feel the best thing to use. There are tons of spline jigs that people have on YouTube. I will probably make a new one at some point and we'll make a video about it, but I just wouldn't suggest necessarily using that one. Then we're gonna go in and glue in our cherry splines so that they match the top and the bottom. And we'll wait for those to dry and we'll come back and cut those splines off. I also used this time to make the drawer and I did the exact same thing with the drawer. Miter joints and cherry splines in them. And then we're going to take the router and we're going to add a small little round over to the top. And then after we sand we're going to apply our finish. And we just need a few more pieces to finish this up. First, we're gonna cut out our drawer front out of cherry. We're gonna router out a little insert for a piece of plywood to go in the base of our drawer. Then we'll take a chisel to square those off. Take our drawer face over to the drill press to drill out a hole. And then I whipped up a little drawer pull on the lathe and we just glued it in. Well, here it is guys, all done. It came out amazing. I love the combination of the cherry and walnut. If you guys like this video, leave us a comment or a like down below. It really helps us with the algorithm and helps new people find me and my content so it's really appreciated and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already